I am Rodrigo Duterte, I'm a Filipino. I love the Philippines because it is the land of my birth. It is the home of my people. Sabi, sabi ko, sige, kayong lahat mga naniwala dyan sa putang ina mga bisep nyo, bumoto, gusto ninyong sa langit, sa mga mga kayo. Yung lahat na gustong sa impirno, dito kayo sa akin. O, oh, pagdating resulta, eh, di 16 million. Yes, sir. Well, eh, sa, ibig sabihin, sabi ko, let this be a referendum. Yes, sir. Sa speech ko, meeting the advance, let this be a referendum between me and the Catholic Church. Sige. Sabi, I'm not, I will not die if I do not become president. Ngayon na, subukan natin. Eh, sila ang mukhang tanga. So, gusto lahat pala ng tao, halos doon sa Luneta, gustong sa impirno. Sama kami so, sa inyo, sir. Oh, doon na, doon yes, na tayo. Sir. Kaya sabi ng bisaps, kanya mga dalong langit, ang mga putang ina, may mga kabitrin. There is a book now, Secrets of the Altar. I ma online mabili yes. mo. Lahat ng iskandalo ng pare nanjan. Yes. Pati pangalan. Have you read it? Secrets of the Altar. It's uh, being sold online. Uh, bestseller all over the marami ng anak mo. Lahat ng lahat ng pinabuntisan, lahat ng kinabit ng pare nang doon lahat nilagay yang writer nan. And she was a and he was rather a uh, Uh, a journalist covering CBCP itong Bishop's Conference for almost 30 years. Yung sinulat na niya ngayon, tignan mo yung ano ang katoliko. Sos Mario, sir. sir. Sabi ko na nga eh. Ano yung trabaho ko? Yun ang ginagawa ng pare. Ang ginagawa ng pare, hindi ko ginagawa kasi hindi man ako pare kung magbabae ako. Sila, Eh, parinig mo, pare yan. Kung sila ang magkasala, sabihin na nila, sapagkat kami tao lamang. Pag tayo ang magkasala, ako, sapagkat demonyo siya. Tingnan mo yung mga putang ina kayo. Ang oh. totoo niyan, lahat ng bisyap, pati ako, magsamasama tayo sa impirno, walang magpunta ng langit sa atin. Sika, hindi ko maintindihan talaga ang simban. Alam nila. Alam ng mga Paris Press gaano kalala. And yet, they say that uh, extrajudicial killing. Eh, lahat ng durog, alam mo naman, kayo dito alam niya, pagka ang tao bangag, lumalaban talaga yan. E, ito mga, kaya dapat yung ibang pare magsyabaw para maintindihan nila. <laughs> oh, I recommend one or two of the bishops. Ayan sa kanila, walang siya bo, pero asawa, meron. Pareho ang kami. Ako, pati ang yung mga pare namin sa Davao, ah, pareho. Nagdalawa tatlong asawa. Masus. Huwag na tayong mag... All the hypocrisy of... Pertanyan sa... I know there's a book about, uh, 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 Altar Secrets. It was written by the writer, so yung narrator ng CD, CBCP noon. You read the book, you will find all the sleazy. Mayroon yan. So, they're trying to suppress. Pati may isang film ngayon about the uh, homosexuality of Britain. Pinipigilan nila. Oh, bakit mo pigilan? When you expose the the frailties of your faithful, you are free to shout in the pulpit. But kung kayo exempted, oh, anong klase yan? Lahat tayo. Ito yung mga Pilipino, you know, from a long haul from Laos, we arrive in Davao, Only to be asked, anong, ano, have you re resolved to stop cursing, uh, saying epithets? Nakaka Galing akong laos, yan ang itanong mo sa akin. Kaya sinabi ko, you know, sanay ako, uh, 
You ask a stupid question, I'll give you a stupid answer. So we look at the window, so in the darkness, God, and he whispered to me, stop cursing. Ano, kinabukas yan, editorial ako, ako raw kulungog. Kasi nagpifentanil, yung painkiller dito, yung in, 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 lidocaine. Eh, sa C4 ko pati si Seven, kaya ako mag, kaya ako mag, Tingin ng babae, kung hindi naman talaga maganda, hindi ko nalang tinitignan. <laughs> hindi ko maganon to eh. Pero kung medyo talagang, ayun, even in the peripheral, makita mo man, uh, you meet a little bit of sacrifice ganon. <laughs> no, ako, do not treat me as uh, just one of the, uh, talagang, What you say is what you get. Ganon talaga, baski sa, baski sa, baski doon sa kami nagharap ni Obama. Ah, sabi ko, you can go to hell. Ganito ha, look. America. Padaw ni Obama with all the wisdom and the, the, pre the pretensions of uh, honoring great principles of humanity. Uh, even suggesting that I should be prosecuted in the International Criminal Court. No nagbasa ako, ang mga unggoy, hindi pala membro ng International Criminal Court. Di ba putang ina pagkahiprokot yun itong bakit? Well, do you remember Panama? Anybody remembered Panama? They invaded the country because Panama was flooding the United States with drugs. They uprooted the president, shanghai him to the United States, brought him to trial, and Noriega is serving sentence there. Kita mo pa kahiprokito ito mo. They went to Iraq on the pretext of a world in search for a Weapons of mass destruction. They found down. They undermine Saddam. They undermine Libya. Look at what's happening now. This is carnage. Kawawa ang... Never amount... Never mind about the Muslim, Christian, mga Hudiyo. The human beings, the Arabs are... When you talk to me, you better be prepared to go down to reality. Because I will point out to you what's wrong with the world. It's not really me. So, yung droga na yan, yung corruption. Sinabi ko talaga, I even fired dalawang brad namin sa fraternity. Early, talagang pinaalis ko. And I have fired so many itong LFTRB. 92 of them already. And many more. It will not stop for six years. Drug problem, the killing, it will not stop, believe me, until the last poster is out of the streets. Pati yung drug lord. Wala akong choice eh. I cannot operate. Kung, kung ganito lang, nakita naman ninyo. You build a case. How can you build a case isa-isa? You ask your fiscal, come here. You gets arrested, gets a lawyer, delays the investigation. The case is finally filed after six months to one year. Then, first day in court, he asks for a postponement, another postponement. How can I prosecute six thousand? In the meantime, I prosecute two, three, four, five in this community, and every everybody, everybody else in the list plays the the drug game. Oh, well, what what happened to my country? I said, "Go, do not destroy my country." That's what I said in Davao. Do not destroy my city. Do not destroy the young people of this. 
When I became a president, I issued the same one. Stop it because it's going to be bloody. Then I promise, walang corruption. Then I promise, walang criminality. Then I promise that the onsa debate, that I will bury, I will allow the burial of Marcos doon sa libingan ng mga bayanin. I have come trying to come up with, with my promises. Ano pang hindi ninyo nakita? Alam ninyo ang Dabao. Alam mo kung bakit. Ang Dabao noon, medyo magulo. It's in Mindanao. Secretary Mamunjong is there. He's also in Maranao. Nanay ko Maranao, tatay ko Chinese. But my father is from Cebu. Nabi ko sa kanila, magulo masyado. Sabi ko, I will make the city peaceful. Kayo ng mga negosyante, bahala na kayo. But along the way, talagang hinaritan ko lahat. At ito ngayon, nationwide, it has created an uproar beyond the normal proportions. Ngayon, here comes Trump. Uh, good evening, uh, Mr. President. It's uh, evening here. Uh, I'd like to congratulate you on your victory. Uh, I think you're doing great. You're, good, you're making good country. Oh, yes, uh, Mr. President, the third day. Yes, sir. Well, you know, we, I, I think we have a bad fix in our relations. Uh, forget about it. We'll, we'll uh, reset a new one. You're, you're doing it right. This son of a bitch, this guy, I, I do not name the guy. In the boundary, they're throwing... Uh, so, sabihin ko sila, anong asal na sundin ko? The America mismo, with all its pretensions and hypocrisy, dalawa ang makukuha ko. Here is a guy who said, continue with what you're doing, it's good. And this is son of a bitch, he's also saying that I should go to prison. Do you see, no? Ang konstitusyon mismo ganito, sinira nila eh. Because of their uh, hatred for Marcos, they came up with a konstitusyon. Bugado, marami man tayo dito. The president can declare martial law. But any citizen of this country can bring a petition to the Supreme Court to question on the legal basis for declaring martial law. But in the same paragraph, the president, after 60 days, should go to Congress for an extension, if he wants to, if he has to complete the slaughter. Ngayon, pagdating sa Supreme Court, sabi ng Supreme Court, it is baseless. It does not, uh, it's, it does not uh, amount to any legal basis. E sabihin ng Congress, go ahead. Because it is the national security which is at stake. E kung magmangga yung dalawa, if they cannot agree, because the President usually and Congress are uh, 